what's going on guys, it's me Glitch and Double here bringing us a brand new video of the Barcelona career mode and we're starting off in the Champions League first against second we need to win the next two games two events and possibly con retaining our treble and our Champions League trophy Dortmund versus Barcelona we're away from home we need to pick up this win in the first game when we went against Dortmund we ended up drawing 2-2 that game, I felt like we could have won that game. But the second time, we ended up losing po position. I mean, possession of the ball. But let alone that, you can still have a chance of redemption and winning this game right here. Rashford. Back to Griezmann. Griezmann shoots, and he makes it 1-0. In the 56th minute, Griezmann strikes first for Barcelona. We have a lead. Finally, we finally break the deadlock. And score a goal. Honestly, felt confident that he was going to make that. But there was no doubt about it. That he was going to miss. Unless the defender got near him. But the defender could not even get to him. Look at that. That's game. We end up winning 1-0 from the goal from Griezmann. He could have had two, but he struck the, cr the crossbar. Zach's thing with, with Dorman. They hit the crossbar and nearly could have made it 2-2. But luckily, we ended up playing great, and we picked up the victory and the three points. All right. Arsenal has came up and picked up Paulinho for $20 million. He's leaving in January. And Ortola... Once again, his transfer talks broken down. I don't know, I might release some. Don't even know, but maybe. Barcelona versus Espanol. The Catalan Derby. We just got finished playing El Clasico two games ago. And now we're here in another derby. And this one is the Catalan Derby. Hopefully we are here to pick up another win. Pick up the three points. And extend our lead further away from Real Madrid. Messi's throw and go. Messi, he scores in the third minute. Lionel Messi makes 1-0. Beautiful. Even though Griezmann did not try to pass to him, <laughs> Messi still ended up getting the ball and still ended up converting that goal. Look at that. Wide open. Never leave the little man by himself. And then Diego Lopez, former Real Madrid player, he used to play in El Clasico back in the day, and now he's playing in the Catalan Derby versus Barcelona. And I never thought he would actually join Espanyol in Messi's 10th goal in La Liga right before Christmas. Dembele! Dembele scores! His first goal in the longest time. He finally ends his drought. I don't even remember when was his last time him scoring. It possibly was the Super Cup or the um, Europa Cup. But I don't even remember, but he finally scores a goal. It was about time. I knew he would score any time now, but I never thought it would take so long. He had so many chances in the other episode. But he just was so unlucky that he ended up hitting the crossbar in the post like three times. But he finally scores. And he strikes and they bag another goal. Ah, oh, man. I was hoping that we were going to keep the clean sheet. But right when I saw him wide open right there in the middle, I knew he was going to make it in. Uh, there's still no worries. We got 30 minutes until the game is over and we can still win this game. That was nice passing right there. Wide open. He had that. Rashford! 
Rashford with a volley from Marcus Rashford. For a second there, I didn't even think he was going to get a touch on the ball, but I guess not. He ends up scoring in the 75th minute to make it 3-1. Increase our lead by more for the for Espanol could not catch up to us. And it took a little of a deflection right there in that cross right there. But he still managed to get that goal. Look at this. Poof. That was a beautiful shot. To be quite honest, I felt like he was going to overshot it. But I guess not. He slots it right through and it makes it beautiful. And we end up winning the game. 3-1. Fantastic playing. I felt a little bit uh, okay. I didn't feel that good about the game, but no matter what, we still ended up picking the, the win and the three points. So now we have increased our lead by three more points. Fantastic. I'm going to simulate this game against Osasuna in the Copa del Rey. We won 2-1, and now Osasuna pick up early win, I mean early goal. So now it's 2-2 on aggregate. Hopefully we can end up winning. Martinez scores, makes it. 1-1 one, one. overall is 3-2 De La Feo makes it 2-1 this team the second team can actually be a first team to be quite honest only if they end up playing better and have a higher overall and then we pick up the win now we're gonna go to the round of 16 and I'm not sure who we against but I'll let you guys know I'm going to simulate this game against Granada we are away from home using my second team because oh, the next game we're gonna be against PA okay in the Champions League. We need to win that game. I uh, have my first team ready up. And hopefully the second team could surprise us with a win. So far, none of us haven't scored yet. But we need that one goal. We cannot lose this game. We got 10 more minutes left. Hopefully, hopefully we could pick up a light winner. And we don't. We end up drawing nil nil. I'd rather take a draw than a nil. So I'm perfectly fine. I'm going to simulate this game because I feel confident in my first team and Porto have 9 points, we have 10, Dortmund has 7 and PA OK have 3. So no matter what, hopefully we could end up drawing or winning, we will still be on top. Even though if we lose, most likely we will be in 2nd. Hopefully it depends on the, our goal ratio, but so far we are winning 2-1. And hopefully we can continue winning 3-1 from Goreska. We got 15 more minutes left and it looks like we are going to be winning this game. Hopefully we can put in one more goal. We, oh, there you go. Griezmann scores a last minute goal. And then we win 4-1. So we're advancing to the round of 16. That's great. Juan Camara. Who is that? What team is that? Real Oviedo has came in from 1.1. I want to say yes. I want to get rid of them. I still have a bunch of players I need to get rid of. Just these three. And then these are just youngsters. I want them to get some more playing time. And Ortola, I want him to leave. These are the three players that are going to be leaving in January. And then I'm thinking about signing one more big signing. I want Grimaldo onto the team on the left back once Jordi Alba is getting old. But he's not going to be able to leave. They don't have squad depth. So it's going to be hard for us. And then we have great other players still here. Um, probably bring our knight in. Possibly. Um, Coutinho could be a great great addition to the team. Verratti will be a fantastic addition. Um, what else? What else? I was bringing, I was thinking about bringing this go in. Tilly's man, Luis Suarez, right there. But I'm not gonna buy him back. I just wanted to see if he would decline. Neymar, DiBala. I added them to short list to see which player I um, possibly could think of signing in season three. Most likely will be Dybala, but I would like to see who is better out of them. And Dybala is one year younger, and I would like to buy him, but he's cheaper. But I don't want to spend so much money on these players. But most likely it will go around like 200 million. Barcelona versus Real Vallecano. Not sure if I started that right. I'm really not familiar with that team, but I've seen them and heard of them. But hopefully we can pick up the win. There's no doubt about it. We should easily win this game against them. They're not a top tier team. Not, uh, possibly a mid-table team. And most likely somewhere in the bottom. 
but hopefully we can pick up the win and flat flat out dominate them. Griezmann! Oh, what a goal! I had no idea Griezmann was going to get there. I was just so concentrated just trying to get that first goal right there. And I wasn't even expecting it. I just saw Griezmann get that contact to his head and then I was like, alright. <laughs> That's just a crazy header. I never scored a goal like this, but now I'm glad to say that I have. Look, that's Ronald Koeman right there. He's celebrating. Oh, holy cow, how? How did they just score that? What the heck? Wow. This team is not going to give up. <laughs> Messi with the last minute goal to make it 1-0. He scores to get the victory for his team. Oh man, we had so many chances. We could have converted so many goals. You know, this is when you score your last minute goal. It feels so great. Oh man, I'm just happy that Messi ended up getting that beautiful shot in that beautiful space right there to take that shot. And now we are taking the three points once again. And that's game right there. Messi picks up the late winner to help us get the three points and continue increasing our lead in La Liga. In the next episode, we're going to be playing against Villarreal and then starting into the January transfer window. We're going to be playing against Espanyol in the round of 16 in the Copa del Rey and Salto Vigo. Alright guys, this is me, Glitch and Devil, and I'm out. Peace. Also, let me know who I should sign. Bye.